Guys, it's Dara. Thanks for clicking my video. Today is lesson 13 and we are going to talk about infinitives in Tagalog. In English, the way we form infinitives is we put the word to at the beginning of the base form of the verb, like to eat, to walk, to run, to exercise, right? In Tagalog, uh, we have a different way of forming infinitives. On my previous lessons, you have already learned the preposition sa, which could mean in, on, at, or sometimes to, right? But in Tagalog, we do not say sa plus the base form of the verb. We don't do that. There's another way of forming infinitives. So, if you're ready, let's get started. I also want you to understand this. In English, we have regular and irregular verbs. We say walk, walked, walked, regular verb. And eat, ate, eaten, irregular verb. In Tagalog, although we do not have such terminologies, we don't have regular and irregular verbs. I want you to think that there is. <laughs> I want you to think that there is so that it will be easier for you to remember which verbs follow a certain pattern. For example, on my previous videos, you have already learned this word, lakad, which means walk. And also, this word, aral, which means study. Also, this word, ejercicio which means exercise. These three verbs, I want you to think that these belong to the regular verbs category because they follow certain pattern. If aral is study, how do we say to study in Tagalog? It's easy. We just have to add the word mag, which is M-A-G. This is pronounced as mag before the base form of the verb. So. To study is mag-aral. How about to walk? How do we say to walk? If walk is lakad, how do we say to walk in Tagalog? Mag-lakad. If ejercicio is exercise, then how do we say to exercise in Tagalog? Mag-ejercicio. Now also, on my previous lessons, you have already learned this word. Gusto. You have already encountered this, I think, on lesson 9. Gusto means like. Now, if I say, Gusto ko mag-aral ng Tagalog. Gusto ko mag-aral ng Tagalog. What do you think did I say? Gusto ko mag-aral ng Tagalog. Gusto ko mag-aral ng Tagalog. What do you think that means? You're correct. It means I want because gusto is want, right? And then ko is I or me. Gusto ko mag-aral. I want to study. Gusto ko mag-aral ng Tagalog. I want to study Tagalog. How about this one? Gusto ko mag-ehersisyo tuwing umaga. Gusto ko mag-ehersisyo tuwing umaga. Gusto, want, ko, I or me, mag-ehersisyo to exercise, right? Tuwing, what is tuwing again? You already learned this. Every, right? And umaga is morning. Gusto ko mag-ehersisyo tuwing umaga. I want to exercise every morning. Gusto ko maglakad tuwing hapon. Gusto ko maglakad tuwing hapon. What did I say? Gusto ko, I want, maglakad, to walk, right? Tuwing, every, and what is hapon? Hapon is afternoon, right? Gusto ko maglakad tuwing hapon. I want to walk every afternoon. On my previous lessons, I think that was lesson 7, I have covered the three forms of sentences, right? Namely, the, the positive, the negative, and the interrogative form. Now, how do we say, I don't like? If gusto is like, how do we say don't like in Tagalog? You have two options. You have previously learned the word hindi or just de sometimes, which means no or not, right? This could also mean don't. So you can say, hindi ko gusto. Hindi ko gusto maglakad. I don't like to walk. Or you can just use one word instead of saying hindi gusto. You can use ayaw. 
Ayaw is don't like. Hindi ko gusto maglakad. Ayoko maglakad. I don't like to walk. Next verb. Trabaho. Trabaho is could be a noun, right? It means work. But it could also be a verb. So how do we say to work? Easy, right? Magtrabaho. Ayaw ko magtrabaho ngayon. Ayaw ko magtrabaho ngayon. What did I say? Ayaw ko, I don't like, magtrabaho, to work. And what is ngayon? Now, right? You have already learned all these words. Ayaw ko magtrabaho ngayon. Ayaw ko magtrabaho ngayon. Ayaw ko talaga magtrabaho ngayon. I really don't like to work now. How about bakasyon? Bakasyon. Bakasyon is vacation, right? So it's a noun. But it can also be used as a verb. Gusto ko magbakasyon sa Cebu. Gusto ko magbakasyon sa Cebu. Or gusto ko magbakasyon sa Manila. Gusto ko magbakasyon sa Manila. Gusto ko magbakasyon sa Manila. What did I say? Gusto ko, I want magbakasyon to go on vacation sa in on at, right? In Cebu. Cebu is one of the best places here in the Philippines. That's my hometown. So, if you haven't been here in the Philippines, try to visit Cebu as well. <laughs> Not just Manila. Next verb, basa. What am I doing? I'm reading, right? So, how do we say read in Tagalog? Basa. Basa. And how do we say to read in Tagalog? Magbasa. Magbasa. Gusto ko magbasa araw-araw. Gusto ko magbasa araw-araw. What did I say? You're correct. I want to read every day. I like to read every day. Mm, hindi ko gusto magbasa. Hindi ko hilig magbasa. What did I say? Hindi ko hilig magbasa. Hilig, you have previously learned this word, right? It's, it means hobby, right? So, hindi ko hilig magbasa. What did I say? It's not my hobby to read. How about this verb? You have previously learned this. Luto. Luto means cook, right? Gusto ko magluto. I want to cook. Or, Mm, ayoko magluto. Mm, hindi ko hilig magluto. Hindi ko hilig magluto. It's not my hobby to cook, right? Next word. Turo. Turo. This means teach. Teach. So how do we say to teach in Tagalog? Magturo. Gusto ko magturo ng Tagalog. I like to teach Tagalog. Or I like teaching Tagalog. How about the negative form for that? Hindi ko gusto magturo. Or, ayoko magturo. But me, I love to teach Tagalog. So, gusto ko magturo ng Tagalog. Ikaw, anong hilig mo? Gusto mo bang magbasa? Or gusto mo magluto? How about magbakasyon? Or, gusto mo rin bang magturo? Do you also like to teach? How about laro? You have already previously learned laro, right? Laro means play. And how do we say to play? Maglaro. Gusto mo ba maglaro ng online games? Gusto mo maglaro ng online games? Do you like to play online games? Ako, hindi ko gusto maglaro ng online games. Pero, pero is but, right? Oh, Hindi ko hilig maglaro ng online games. Or magluto. Hindi ko hilig magluto. Pero hilig kong mag-aral, magturo, magbasa, magbakasyon, sa beach, at maglakad, <laughs> mag-ehersisyo. Ikaw, anong hilig mo? Hilig mo rin bang magbasa? How about maglaro ng online games? Magluto? Mm, mag-exercise, mag-ehersisyo. Or maglakad-lakad. Gusto mo rin bang magturo? Mm, siguro, mahilig kang maglaro ng basketball. How about maglaro ng online games? Or 
Mahilig ka rin bang magluto? Mahilig ka bang magbasa? Mahilig ka bang hmm, mag-ehersisyo? Hmm, ano kayang hilig mo? Sigurado ako, gusto mo mag-aral ng Tagalog. Kung ano ang hilig mo, i-comment mo nga sa video ko. I-comment mo kung ano ang hilig mo. There you have it guys, Filipino in 5 to 15 minutes with me for you to achieve your goal of speaking Tagalog this 2020. I hope this lesson